Hi everyone, it's Patrick Henry, and this is episode six of the Unbreakable series. I don't recommend that you drink Red Bull, by the way. I bought chicken wing, Lord have mercy. Welcome, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I just want to go home. Mindset, it's the thing that determines whether you're going to be positive or whether you're going to be negative. Whether you're going to see the issues and not go for something, or whether you're going to see that there are solutions waiting to be found, and go for it. Pat, what are you doing? I am um, filling out this form, which is a mortgage application form. Um, myself and James are investing in a property. We've got some money. We want to put it to good use. We're buying a property that I already look after for a client who's willing to sell to us. Uh, it already has tenants in so we've already got money coming in from day one. It's got potential to extend and develop, which is right up our street because we own a design and build company, which makes sense for us. So right now I'm just filling out this huge amount of paperwork which comes with every single mortgage application. It doesn't get any easier. It gets longer actually every single time I fill one of these things out because uh, it's more regulations and whatever else. But yeah, it's quite a bizarre thing. I, I still get nervous every time uh, I fill out a mortgage application form, even though I've done it for the past. I mean, my first mortgage was eight years ago, maybe nine years ago. That was a mortgage for like 100, 120,000, I think, something like that. Uh, this is a mortgage for, well, about three times that, let's say. Uh, it still gets me nervous, even though this is still not the biggest mortgage that I've ever uh, taken out, and it's probably one of the safer purchases that I've ever made. But you still get this feeling of, am I doing the right thing? I'm investing a lot of money. Is this the right thing to do? That, that's... What the fuck are they doing? Oh, Um, the students from the school end up kicking off, something happens. I think it was only two, maybe three years ago when one of the students was stabbed and, and died. But right, every year, about the same time, it's almost like the kids settle in and then get to know each other and then there's this period of jostling, you know, who's top of the food pile. Um, I call it peacocking, you know, people like fluffing up their feathers and saying, no, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, big, I'm the big bird around here. Um, but it happens, it's no different to when we were young. And I remember going to uh, the college that we were at, and it was, I think it was in the first two or three months we had two people stabbed, was it? Um, so nothing really changes, and every single year it's the same thing. And it doesn't matter what you say to the, uh, the headmasters at that school. There's, there's always a chance that something's going to happen, and you know, just happens. It's youth, isn't it? It's youth, but you know, I, I always know. I always try to stay away from all of that as much as possible. Once you've seen it a few times, you've seen how bad situations can get. People get stabbed, people get shot, people die. Uh, you get a new respect for actually what conflict and violence can bring. And that's just another little brief reminder of it. But you should always remember what San Su said in The Art of War, which is avoid battle at all costs. Avoid arguments, avoid fighting at all costs, because it costs to fight, it costs to argue. Whether you win or whether you lose, you're still gonna lose people. You might break something, you might get locked up for six months, you might, something might happen to you. Or someone will hold a vendetta against you and it'll come back six months, a year down the line, 10 years down the line, whatever it is. Avoid conflict at all costs, that's the only thing I can say, and it's the only thing I would tell kids now, because no one's gonna remember how much of a bad boy you were when you are in your teenage years. No one gives a damn about that. No, no, one, no one cares about whether I was the hardest boy in school or the weakest, or whether I shied away from a fight, or whether I stood my ground every time. Who cares about that now? I'm 35 now. It's so, so sh short-lived, this idea that you're special. <laughs>
I'm James from Reliance Health. Today we're at Kingston Hospital and we're just having a walk around looking at some of the equipment that Reliance Health has installed here. Obviously we specialise in the installation of medical class equipment. So here we've got two medical IT systems. They're feeding uh, two operating theatres downstairs and we've just finished installing, testing and the commissioning stage. So we've handed these over. Um, we're just here to have a little walk around now and just see some of the equipment that we've got. Here we've got two 100 KVA UPSs that are feeding eight medical IT systems. Those medical IT systems are feeding the eight operating theatres for this hospital. We also have here two bypass panels and two main distribution boards which are feeding out. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more important, I believe, mindset really is. You know, there was no physical difference between me when I was consumed with destroying my life and tearing down everything that I created and the very next day when I decided that I was going to go sober, that I was going to change who I was as a person. The, the, the only difference was just my mindset about my life, how I was going to be a different person. I wasn't going to be a certain person anymore. I wasn't going to let my difficulties consume me. I wasn't going to let myself destroy everything that I'd worked towards. I wasn't going to let my family down, my friends down, my kids down. I was going to make the most of what I had. And if that meant digging myself out of a gigantic hole that I created for myself, then that's what I had to do. But that was just mindset. There was no difference in me whatsoever. I didn't learn anything overnight. It's not like I, I picked up some knowledge or read some book which translated into an epiphany that lifted me above the clouds and that I could see for miles beyond. No, all that happened that was any different between one day and the next was just a change in my mindset. I was not going to dig any deeper into this hole, into this precipice that I created for myself. I was going to conquer it and I was going to improve every single day. And I was going to show everybody how sorry I was for letting them down and myself down during that time I was going to come back stronger, I was going to bounce back and I was going to be the man that somewhere deep down I knew I could be rather than this waste of space and life which I'd become. So that's the end of the Unbreakable series, episode 6 and we've been talking about mind states. Two things I really want to take away from this, short term mind state issues, long term mind state issues, the short term ones are when we let things get on top of us, when we let things that are disastrous in our lives or to feel like pivotal moments that we're like, where things have gone against us, we let those things affect us for way too long. And we've got to change our mind state when these things happen, whether it's getting a punching bag and kicking and punching the crap out of it until you've released all of your tensions and you can get back to work again, or whatever it is, try and get over it as soon as possible. Because all you're doing by letting it build up in your head is you're doubling down on your problem. You're not just being affected by the problem, you're also by being affected by the time that you're taking to get over the problem. The second thing is the ever-evolving, ever-changing long-term mind state. And these are, this is something that you can constantly work on. You can constantly change your outlook on life. You can constantly change your outlook on how you deal with your finances, your business, relationships, whatever it is. Don't be afraid to change. Learn more about yourself every day, experiment, make mistakes, but the main thing is try to learn, try to get better, and don't ever doubt yourself. Thank you very much. It's Patrick Henry, Unbreakable Series, and we'll see you next week.